The Trump administration has repeatedly complained about China's $375 billion trade surplus with the United States. But what does the US actually import from China and how will tariffs affect American consumers? We wanted to find out more, so today we are talking about the top five product groups and some of the top products the US imports from China. Let's get started with number five, vehicles. The US imported over 14.5 billion worth of Chinese goods in this category in 2017. Some of these products include tires for vehicles, vehicle parts for repair, vehicle brakes and cars. This means that if the US imposes tariffs on these types of imports, US consumers will have to pay more to get around. The average cost of repairs, maintenance and tires is $99 a month for a new car according to AAA. And even more, if your car is older than 3 years, this means your monthly average could increase if tariffs are levied on China. And I know, most of us can't afford more car costs. Moving on to number 4 on our list is plastics. The US imported over $16 billion worth of Chinese goods in this category in 2017. We know how bad plastics can be for the environment, but if the US stops importing plastics from China, both countries will suffer. Think about all the things you buy each day that include plastics. Now imagine having to pay more money every single day on those products. This is what will happen if the US imposes tariffs. I hope you are ready to pay more for everything. If you thought having to pay more for your car maintenance and groceries was bad, well, get ready for more expenses because number three on our list are toys, games and sporting goods. That's right! Your kids are not going to be able to play football, baseball or basketball because you won't be able to afford the equipment. The US imported over $25.5 billion worth of Chinese goods in this product group in 2017. And forget about them playing inside because this product group also includes things like video games, board games and dolls. Oh, and one more thing. Christmas just became more expensive too, because Christmas ornaments and nativity scenes are included in this group along with the ice skates and skis. You can soon thank the Trump administration for ruining Christmas. I would tell you to go to bed and think about how a trade war might affect you, but you won't be able to afford a bed soon because number two on our list are furniture, bedding and other household items. The US imported over $31.9 billion worth of Chinese goods in this product group in 2017. This group includes things like lighting, bedding and furniture such as beds, couches, chairs and wooden furniture of a kind used in the bedroom, whatever that means. I would tell you to call your congressperson and tell them to stop this trade dispute, but you might not be able to do that, because the number one imports from China are electrical equipment and machinery. These are actually two groups, but we lumped them together on this list because many of the products overlap. The US imported over $256 billion worth of Chinese goods in these two groups in 2017, with telephones and cellular network equipment making up $71.7 .7 billion of the total. Other electronic equipment included integrated circuits, which are pretty much in everything, monitors and projectors, digital cameras, speakers and more. Basically, all of the modern technology we take for granted in the US is imported from China and unless you are willing to pay more for everything in your life, from cars to bats and phones to toys, it will be a good time to call your house representatives while you still can. So, there you have it, the top 5 product groups and some of the top products the US imports from China. If you don't want to pay more for everyday items, be sure to share this video and let more people know about the cost of a trade dispute with China. What do you think of our list? Leave a comment below and let us know what China lists you would like to see. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video.